hello everyone so in this video on db2 on mainframe so I'm going to show you about aliases on db2 tables so where do we use this aliases when user wants to point a text as a heading instead of a field name then we can use as you when we use this aliases and aliases can be specified for a field and a table also so the syntax is select field alias name from a table now we would connect to the mainframe system and we'll connect to the db2 subsystem and see how it works so here is a query so yeah, select uh, before this before i go into this query let me enter a curly so is are from emp table 1 okay when i run this query so these the results are extracted based on the original field value now i wanted to add my own heading instead of this one instead of esl i wanted to have the different heading created for this so that it will give more enhanced description about or more give a better idea on the table okay so let's give some modification to this so what I'm doing here is uh, select eSAL and naming it as an employee salary from EMP table. So when I run this query, you can see instead of eSAL, the original field, it is displaying it as employee salary. So to give a further more description to the field. So not only this, you can write, you can have a alias as created for multiple columns. So for example, name okay i'm giving it as an employee underscore name from emp table so that you can see a employee salary and employee name are retrieved here and you can also change the directions of the fields so the first field is normally like employee id employee name salary and so on so now here i have changed the direction uh, employee salary as first and employee na name as a second so you can change the positions of the fields too so especially these are created for a report so where you have a table with some 50 fields or 70 fields and you wanted to extract the particular piece of information and have a user defined header so based on the requirement you have especially for a report creation this aliases are very much used okay so in the same way you can create the uh, create this aliases uh, for a tables too so especially when you're working with the sub queries so which i would be covering in my later topics so there and you can see uh, aliases are being used so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video you can subscribe to you can subscribe to my youtube channel for day-to-day -day alerts so whatever the videos uploads i would be doing on youtube so that you can get an alert and you can go through the videos once again thank you so much have a great and pleasureful day or an evening